Yo guys, what's up? It's Dennis from Dennis World of Bodybuilding again. Okay, I hope this time you're hearing me better. I'm pretty sure you will because I changed the microphone again to my previous one. Okay, the microphone I bought, um, I got it yesterday and I was like, hopefully this one is it. Okay, hopefully this one is great and everything. It had great ratings, nearly full ratings on Amazon and... I was like, I have to buy it. I have to try it. Um, but it's like, it's it's not good at all. It's really not good at all. I did settings and everything, but you can't forget about it. So I will try to send it back. And it's it's not a good microphone. So I will continue to do it with this mic. And I hope you like it all. Okay. And now to the topic I wanted to talk. Um, who is qualified for the Miss Olympia 2017? Okay. So the competitor list is there, we have it. So I will go through the competitor list and I will do some comments, okay? A few sentences, maybe one sentence, maybe nothing at all, but just listen. So Jeff Beckham USA is the first one. Lionel Bieke from France is the next one. Lionel is known to have a very aesthetic line and Maybe if if he is on point, his problem was always like like the problem of a lot of you know blessed, gifted, aesthetic guys is to come in good shape. They have problems with that. I hope he will solve that problem because if he would solve it, he could he could place as high as you know five to eight or something this year. Charles Max, I don't know about Charles. I think for Charles it would be great if he would place in top ten. Brendan Curry, Brendan Curry, I just say one thing, first, the first uh, goal should be, or the, the least goal should be to be in top 10, okay, the previous contests, the previous Mr. O.C. attended, he was not even placed, so this would be an upgrade for him, if he would crack the top 6, or would be between 6 and 8, it would be great for him. But we don't know. You always have dark horses. You always have surprises, which, which is something needed in this sport because it would make it more attractive to watch. So I wish him all the best. The only thing that maybe would you know, not be that good is his legs. I don't think his legs are good enough to be on top. But we'll see. So Nathan Diasha. Nathan Diasha is one of my personal dark horses. So I will. I will patiently wait to see his performance afterwards or something um, because I think he has big big potential he's he seems to be tall he has aesthetic line he, he has shape he has conditioning and everything and if he does some improvements and be at least as good as last year I think he has good good opportunities he could place top six he could place eight seven I don't know it can be very interesting with him. Mamdu Elspaye, okay, better known as Big Raimi, will of course go for that win. Is it possible or not? We will see it. Okay, there are other guys who will go for the win too, so he's not the only one. And the number one guy who is going for that win obviously is the next guy, Phil Heath won already six titles he wants to win the seven title this year and that's not the last title he wants to win he wants to get 10 olympia titles so we'll see what happens and dax jackson is the next guy from the usa united states of america again okay daxter wants to win that title too okay you have to see it how it is daxter wants to win the title too but the thing is Last year and everything, he was more like, okay, I will win it, I will win it, I get that title. This year he's more calm, but I don't think that he's working less or something, but he probably just wants to uh, speak with um, success. So it will be interesting with Dexter because he's a great contender. And sorry, I should, I should do some pictures to s show you the athletes. I just have the list here because it will get around 10 minutes, I think. But I'll, I'll keep that in my head for next time, okay? So listen to it like a radio show this time, okay? We'll see how I will do it next time. But I don't have to, a lot of time now, so it is how it is. 
Johnny Jackson. Johnny Jackson, I think it's his last Olympia. Okay, this year for Johnny, it would be good to place between 10 and 12 place, 13 place. Okay, his legs will never be there. He did some great shows this year, but his legs are not there. He will, for 99%, he won't be in that top 10. Okay, that's my opinion. Josh Lenartowitz. Josh has some interesting pictures, but I will do a separate video on that one. On Instagram, I saw a very interesting picture because he's working with the coach of Dallas McCarver right now, Matt Jensen. And Dal the thing with Josh is you can be probably sure that he will be conditioned. He won't be one of those guys who will be out of shape and looking like a fat club or something. I, I think he will have that grainy conditioning. I hope so. I really hope so. And then he could place between 6th and ninth or something. 5th and ninth. I don't know. Because you never know. You have to see what the judges want. Back then when, when Branch Warren got second, he looked like, you know, totally unesthetic and everything. But he got second. So you Maybe, you know, it would be interesting if the IFPB judges and official heads would make a list and would make a, just a PDF data or something where they really uh, write out the wanted look, okay? That would be it. Because you never know. Some guys like apples, some guys like oranges. Body types are different. Next one, Michael Lockett. Michael Lockett is relatively aesthetic too. Um, he's always great condition, but he's pretty small compared to the top guys. So for Michael, it would be a big achievement to get top 10. More than that, I don't think it's possible in this contest this year. Victor Martinez for Victor, the same thing. Top 10 would be great. After his injuries, several injuries he had, he had a couple of problems. He he did relatively good for that i have to say it and admit it but i don't t i don't see him in the top eight this year i just don't see him in the top eight maybe nine to twelve that's something like that because you have so many good guys so people will say that uh the olympia will be boring they are not they are not following the sport enough because there are other guys other than kai green there are more guys okay I mean, I just read the list out. If you're interested in the sport, you will see that there are some great and interesting guys. So the contest will be interesting. If you're just scrolling over YouTube and you think Rich Payana, you know, rest in peace, is competing there, you just don't have any clue. So follow to my channel, get the real information, okay? Get educated, <laughs> get entertained. And I just continue with the list. Cedric McMillan. I'm, I'm very, very... I'm happy that I will s that we will see Cedric this year because Cedric uh, skipped a couple of Olympias last year. He competed, I think he was like seventh or eighth. Uh, for him, obviously, this year his main goal will be in the top six. To be in the top six, he won the Arnold Classic, so he has a good, good, you know, f position to go into that contest. A, a good movement, a good hype. So if he is conditioned, and that's the question, like I said, with all the aesthetic guys. They seem to have problems to get in fucking conditioning. I think, I don't know what's up. I don't know what's up. But it is, it's just the facts. Lionel Bihiki, Cedric McMillan, all the aesthetic guys. Maybe not Dexter. So Dexter is always conditioned. So I don't think that it's something genetic. I don't, I just think it's something uh, going into with diet, uh, cardio and, and, and training. That some of those guys have really problems to get conditioned. So Juan Morel from USA again. Um, I think Juan will try to go in that top 10 more than that. I don't think it's possible. Okay. Sergio Olivia Jr. I heard that he will skip the Olympia. So I don't do as, as some predictions on that. Lucas Ozil. Lucas Ozil. A good goal for him would be top 10. He won't, won't be in the top 6. Okay. He won't be in the top 8. If he will get in the top 10, it would be good. You know, in this contest, if you're 12 or 13th place, you are still good. It's not like the, the, the lineup is weak. The lineup is pretty strong. Sean Roden. Sean Roden was second place last year. So don't forget that. 
Sean will try to win the fucking contest. He wants to win it. And he is over 40, so if he won't win it this year, I don't think that he has good chances to ever win it. Because, you know, once the train went away, it went away. Gerald Williams. I have to tell you my honest uh, two cents. I don't know about Gerald. I don't know about Jeff Beckham too. I heard about him, but I don't know too much information to do a prediction. So sorry for those two guys, but I will look up on them after the video. Julie Winkler. I'm really glad to see Julie again. Julie is something interesting to watch because he's just terrific. He don't has a you don't have a good structure and everything. He's not an aesthetic guy, but he's a freak. Okay, he's a crazy fucking freak. So it will be very interesting to see him on stage. His role will be to be top six, and I think he got sixth place last year. So why not repeat that success or even move one place higher? But you never know, okay? So those were the guys. Those were the competitors, like you all read and, and heard me. Kai Green is not in the Mr. Olympia, so forget your dreams, your wet dreams about Kai. <laughs> and it's it is how it is. He won't compete there. Okay, it. I don't think he'll ever compete at the Olympia again. He's he's old. Okay, he still looks awesome, but you never know. It seems like for ninety nine percent he won't compete, but he's in crazy shape. So a guy like Kai, you, you never know what's up. So one, I think he has. He has the opportunity to sign the contract like the same day of the contest or one day before the contest. So we'll see, guys. We'll see. I don't know. I don't have a, a, a glass, you know, a bowl of glass to predict the future or how you call it. So subscribe to my channel and follow me on Instagram. Link is in the comments or in the description. We can chat a little bit there. You can write me your opinions, your video ideas. It would be great, okay? I, I listen to those, you know, I read those messages because I don't get that much messages. It's it's I can have an overlook on that. Write it in the comments, write me on Instagram. Support me. Bye.